Here we go, it's boom check one. Hey man, is this an audio shop? Yeah, it said Boom Boom Bliss on Google Maps. Is this, this the right place? Why, yes sir it is. Boom Boom Bliss right here. Okay, good. All right, so here's the deal. This is actually my wife's vehicle. Uh, she said she wanted a system put in it. She likes things pretty big, so I was going to see if you had anything to help me out. Say no more. I'll be right back. I got something just for her. All right, now. What we have here is a JL Audio 10W6 V2, 500 watts of power handling, great little 10 inch woofer, great sound quality. This should knock her socks off. 10 inch, yeah, she's gonna want something bigger than 10 inch, man. I don't think that's gonna work. You're right, I can tell she's a lady of class. I'll be right back. I don't know what I was thinking with that single tent. Here I got two 12-inch JBL GX1200s. A little less power handling, but uh, about three times the surface area since they're 12s instead of 10s. What do you think? So that's two 12s, and that, I mean, man, that's a big vehicle. Um, I'm going to be honest, she, she told me not to even come home tonight if I couldn't get something that was going to satisfy her. So if you don't have anything bigger than that, that's fine. I'm just going to find another shop and well, hey, say no more. I got you, buddy. I'm kind of an expert in this area. I know exactly what your wife wants. I'll be right back. All right, yeah, that's fine. I'll take a look. Who's that? What in the world? This should satisfy your wife. Sweetheart, I'm coming home. The Stereo Integrity HS24. Man. Welcome to Life of Bliss. If you guys haven't been here before, my name is Kyle. And if you haven't seen the channel, uh, I had three of these monsters in my theater in my basement in my last house. Uh, and unfortunately, we have not had the opportunity to build another theater since moving. Uh, still in between houses with this crazy housing market and everything. But <laughs> look at the size of that with my cell phone on there. It's insane. And this is a Note 10 Plus. I mean, this is a big phone. It's huge. But uh, so anyways, I have not had these suckers out in a while. And uh, I was kind of missing it. So I figured, why not throw them in a vehicle and see how they sounded in there and the only vehicle that we had big enough to house these is drug money over there so we're gonna throw this bad boy in the back uh, had to use the skid loader here to pick it up and get it in there because this enclosure and, and driver and everything this is well over 250 pounds I don't know the exact weight um, but it's definitely heavier than I want to be lifting inside and around my vehicle so we're gonna use the uh, skid loader and do it the easy way. The 24 is in the back. As you can see, it takes up a little bit of room, but it's in there gonna work out so obviously this is just a video kind of for fun uh, this is not gonna be staying in here I actually don't even have a way to power it with the vehicle itself I've got um, my Yamaha receiver that I had previously and a crown XLS 2502 amplifier that I'm just gonna run an extension cord to inside of the car we're not gonna have any mains we are just gonna have bass I've got uh, my U mic one and um, and Rue and I'm gonna with my laptop kind of see what sort of SPL I'm getting I know it's not going to be perfectly accurate, 
Um, it's just not that type of microphone. That's more for doing measurements and uh, room EQ. I don't know how well it's going to do with uh, super high SPL, but um, we're going to have fun with it and see what it does. So we got the super classy setup. Sorry, it's kind of dark, but got the Yamaha receiver, the extension cord through the window, the Crown XLS 2502 sitting up front here. Power that puppy on. So, uh, yeah, let's get this thing going and see what it'll do. All right, so it's getting a little dark here, but we're gonna do the best we can do. Becky's in the car with me. We'll see how much she likes it. Um, but yeah, I got everything set up Bluetooth through my phone. Got the amp up here. I can see if it's going to be clipping or not. And got the lights on, so hopefully we can uh, see a little movement out of the sub. So let's go ahead and do the uh, first song. See if we can get the dice bouncing. All right, like I said, there's going to be uh, no mids or highs. This is just bass. Um, this is going to be Eminem's Kill Shot. Let's see how that does. There's so much bass. <laughs> I don't think this will do a, a hair trick, just 124, um, unfortunately. That'd be kind of cool, though. All right, next song, Heavy Bass Piano Boosted. Super loud. Okay. Yeah, I've been in a, a vehicle with two 18s before. Um, that was very impressive. This is uh, right up there with that. I mean, this is real loud. I'm going to get my uh, U-Mic one out, see what sort of SPL we're looking at. Uh, I'm surprised the car didn't shake that much. Like, mirror doesn't shake a whole lot. Um, these uh, takedown screens are shaking a bunch up here, but... Um, Besides that, like the car is actually fairly solid. Um, so good job Cadillac for that. But uh, yeah, get the U-Mic one out, kind of see what sort of SPL we're looking at. And uh, yeah, have some more fun. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry for the wind guys, it is the next day. It was getting a little too dark uh, to really see anything back here, but we have the super classy setup back in. Um, and also my mic was not working uh, for the U-Mic on Roo, so hopefully I got that figured out. If I didn't, uh, this is going to be kind of a boring video, but uh, we're going to go ahead and fire everything up again. Hopefully we can see what sort of SPL we're getting. Um, I'm thinking it was probably at least in the 130s, if not in the 140s. That was that was very loud compared to uh, what my basement used to be. I know I was hitting about 128, 130 peaks, so uh, this is a lot louder just with one in the car. Let's go ahead, get it fired up again, and see what we can hit. for the amp this sub can take more uh, this amp is only about 2,000 watts so 
a little limited. Uh, I'm gonna fire up Roo, see if we can't get a measurement going. All right, so bad news, the U-Mic is not working. I don't know what's going on with the drivers right now, but it's just not uh, not one to connect to my laptop. So we are still gonna have some fun. Uh, we'll see if we can't uh, shake some stuff up in here a little bit. I've got a demo song with uh, a pretty consistent 20, 21 hertz wave, I believe. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was around 20 hertz whenever I, uh, whenever I found it. So we'll get that going and see what you guys think. Here we go, it's boom check one. shaking over here. Let's see if we can get that. This is with one door and window open. <laughs> it's just tearing stuff up in there. All right, let's see what else we got. Again, uh, this amp is uh, is running out of juice long before that sub is. Um, I really don't want to push the sub to its max potential in here because it probably would start breaking some stuff. But uh, we'll see what else we got here. Everyone knows bass I love you. So let's get that turned up and going. is not liking that that is hilarious all right so the last one we'll do a little bit of eminem kill shot i know we did that yesterday but it was dark probably couldn't see as well um the whole steering wheel and uh, shifter column here is shaking so i'll show that to you and uh yeah let's get it going yeah that is uh that's nasty here we go. It's going to start up again in just a second. See if we can get the steering wheel. So that's obviously way more than I personally need in a vehicle. Um, I just thought this was kind of a fun video. See what a 24, a single 24 will do with about 2000 watts inside of a vehicle. Um, I know there's uh, some crazy builds out there, uh, especially you competition guys. I know Steve Mead put a couple of 24s in, uh, in an SUV. So obviously it's been done before. Uh, this is nothing new, but I haven't experienced it before. I wanted to try it out. Um, again, this is only 2000 watts, which really in the grand scheme of things, especially when, uh, when you're looking at these large woofers and these crazy car audio guys, 2000 watts is not a lot of power. Um, these guys are pushing tens of thousands of watts with some of these systems. The subwoofer could probably handle double what this uh, amplifier is putting out. Um, I mean, I know it can, I've put double to it before, um, but yeah, it was, it was not reaching its full potential and it was definitely one of the loudest vehicles I've personally sat in. So this was a pretty fun time. Um, I've got to try to get this thing out by myself now. Luckily, I've got the uh, the Bobcat back there to help me, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, something fun, something silly, uh, but uh, hopefully you got some enjoyment out of it. I appreciate you guys watching Life of Bliss, and I will see you next time 
hopefully with the theater soon to be able to put these in and get some more home theater content done. So I'll see you guys later.